pounds. I'm matching the pounds. You know that's your pocket money, Till. July. Holding them, Dad? <sighs> There's Granny and Granddad. Come on, chicken. Your pound and raise ten p. That's folding. Your ten and see. Hate to do this to you. Two pairs, kings and tens. Don't mess with the pros. Three queens. Three queens on a four card draw. Just hang on a yes, minute. Yes, I'm not not. Cheap. Guess what? I won eleven twenty four off Daddy at poker. Poker? It's good for Matt. You're early. One to miss the third or your best. Just put one pipe into the car at the double. Look, 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 Going out tonight? Uh, no, I'll get the third man in video and watch that. Oh. Mm. Promise to behave with Granny and Grandad. Tonight? Oh, oh alright then. Come back early Sunday, yeah? I might, I might not. Bye, Daddy, be good. Seat belt, please. I might, I might not. Murdered by terrorists in Africa last year, was killed by a gun supplied from Britain. We've invited two politicians from opposing camps to debate the morality of the arms trade. The Labour MP, Ken Livingstone, and the former cabinet minister, Peter Morton. Perhaps a future cabinet minister as well. I mean, I certainly couldn't do my job as an MP without my Christian faith. Guess what? I've got you a date. Oh, Steve, listen, I'm really broke. You know this, I don't ask what you're doing tonight. This is because I already know what you are doing tonight. You are sitting down to a microwave lasagna, watching an old film, and feeling sorry for yourself, aren't you? Come on, what do you say? Now, she's a good friend of Roz's, right, so don't embarrass me. Oh, don't worry, it won't be you that's embarrassed. Oh, and uh, listen, I told them we were travel writers for a publishing firm. Oh. God, not again. Come on, Roz is posh, she's a lawyer. You can't work. tell her you work for the tits on Sunday. You've got more chance of saying you're a crack dealer yeah, or something, know, you know, a decent job with prospects. What's her friend like? I don't know, I've only met her once. Taxi! Don't worry, Sorry. mate, they're up for it, it'll be fine. No way, how dare you swindle me round here the blind date. It's just not funny, Roz. Come on, what are you worried about? Just do me a favour for once, yeah? Hey, hi, it's your dad on TV. Your doesn't take responsibility for all your nonsense. We both know there are strict guidelines as to what can and can't be exported to various countries. Those guidelines have been ignored for financial and political reasons all the time. You know, it sickens me the way you try to make political capital out of a personal tragedy. It's Hell. not a question of making political capital. You'll continue to feel sad until we stop exporting arms to countries and innocent people That's stop getting total killed. Rubbish. Tell me. Nonsense. Look at the priorities. You spend £24 billion pounds each. It's just an adjournment, but fine. Come on. Oh, fine. OK, OK. Hi. Something <laughs> smells nice. Come in. Hello. Uh, Steve, this is Holly. Hello, Holly. How are you doing? This is Nick. Can I take your coat? Holly, hi. Uh, OK, Holly, can you do the drinks? But listen, I'm sorry about this. It wasn't my idea. Don't worry. I didn't even know about it until you arrived. Here. 
This will make me seem interesting. Cheers, mate. So, you're um, travel writers. That we are. Uh, off to uh, Greece next week and then Africa. Oh, really? What a great job. I was in Freetown last year. Yeah? Oh, I love Barbados. Barbados? Who do you write for exactly? Well, uh, travel magazines, general articles, that sort of thing. I um, wonder where Ross has got to excuse me a second. Three towns in Africa, it's Bridgetown that's in Barbados. Snob. Travel writers, my ass. Holly! No cash, huh? Lots of credit cards. Aha. Nick Simon, journalist. <laughs> Muse on Sunday. Perhaps it worked out it doesn't exactly impress people. What do you think? I don't know. I wouldn't entirely blame them. It seemed a bit odd, though. Hey, maybe they're doing an undercover story on your dad. You reckon? No. They couldn't possibly have known you dragged me into a blind day like this. They think we're friends. OK, OK. Do you think I should say something, then? Yeah, Ros, you should go in and say, we've been through your pockets and we've found your press cards. What have you got to say about that, boys? <laughs> yeah, OK. Where's your friend Bob? I'm looking after the oven. They're really showing us a good time, aren't they? I don't know whether to feel grateful for their concern or set fire to the kitchen. This will help you make your mind up. So, uh, what do you do then? <laughs> uh, I'm a doctor. Oh, that's interesting. It's a job, Nick. It's not supposed to be interesting. Okay, okay. I won't tell you about my bad back then. It's keeping you out of your bum. Looks fine to me. It's a big relief, Doctor. Thank you. Still, I'm sure they mean well. Yes. All this fuss. Don't you think sex is overrated? <clears throat> uh. I really can't remember. The only naked woman I ever get to see these days is my daughter. Oh, you have a daughter as well. As well as what? They really must think I'm desperate. I'm sure that's meant in the nicest possible way. I mean to set me up with a married man. Oh, you mean this? Mm -hmm. It is a wedding ring, isn't it? She died. Sorry. It was a while ago now. Actually, you're quite a nice person. <laughs> well, I've seen a specialist about it, but they tell me there's nothing they can do. Are you really a doctor? Why, then I look very caring. Yeah, very caring, but caring in a sort of a... sort of a vicious way. <laughs> OK, I admit it. I'm a solicitor. Uh-huh. But I like to keep that quiet. I'm sure you understand. No. Never mind. Where are Steve and Rose? They're having sex, aren't they? I think we owe it to ourselves to go to the pub.